और कम्युनिटी पी टी एस प्लेन ऑफ ऑफ्स डिस्क्रेम इज अ कम्प्लीट वर्क ऑफ नॉन फिक्शन वाइन आई थिंक वो शुड गो एंड सी डॉक्टर रिमेंबर्ड कंजर्म वेज इन हिज वॉइस एस दिस कार फ्रेंड वॉज फ्रॉम नॉर्थ शेयर्स एंड शोइंग अप फ्रॉम ये स्टडे आई थिंक इसकी स्पोर्ट फ्रेसिंग शी मटर्ड वीकली वॉल वॉशिंग हर फेस एंड ही गिव हर टॉवल she tends to reach him to leave and he merely pulled her in a bear hug and her head the street for verbs as with i think we should stop eating it from now on he murmured sarcastically referring to her because she loves it and smiled at her lips as she threw a fist on his sure you can if you want she remarked and he let her chuckle Her more love is not good for your health. She huffs in annoyance, but wrapped her arms around his torso while tightly snuggling. I'll think about it. Her voice muffled while he smiled and scooped her in his arms. When a flexus was fast enough to immediately wrap her arms around his neck. That's enough for me. Let's go. I may partage for you. She nods and laid her head on his shoulder. Eat, he commanded with a glare, and she pouts. Come on, Amor, you know well. She sighs and opens her mouth to eat pottage, which he just cooked for her, and now he was making her eat it with his own hands. You're so annoying sometimes, she murmured, strolling her eyes. If it means caring for you, then I honestly have no problem being annoying. He grins, and she. pretend a offend look but his every word always flutter her heart more but that is a means her words muffled when he placed in the spoonful in her mouth and she gave him a mad glare skip do you have to go work today he was a pro are you kicking me out women i'm offended he put a hand on his heart faking hurt and she let out a giggle to see him Here is this. He pointed happily, and she was a pro. What? She had a hint of curiosity in her voice. My baby's first smile. One for butterfly swung in her tummy as she blushed. Shut up, then, cook and get lost. Do some work. She merely tried to push him away before he find her blushing and start teasing her more. That's no fair, Mar. I'm a mafia king. At least give me some respect to me. Get out of my house. She and he says, getting up. Fine, but we're going to see doctor in evening. You can leave. I can go to see doctor myself. Don't worry. And bye. She grins, waving her hand, and he sighs. You just don't want to see me. I got it. I shall leave. I guess. He gave her a sad look, and her smile dropped immediately. Babe, don't cook. You don't really mean that way. I'm sorry. He turned towards her and made her grabby hands, and one immediately hugged him tightly. And he smiled softly. I know he murmured as he cupped her cheeks. His thumb squeezed lightly. Don't say sorry, Amor. I was just messing around. When he hugged him more tightly, which he turned with same passion. I don't know what's wrong with me. Here is a point of concern. Why? What happened? Nothing. Just the way I behave all year. Mood swings out of nowhere. It's okay, Wayne. I was just teasing you, baby. I didn't mean to make you feel down. Don't think about anything, okay? She nods, and he nods his nose with her. I feel things to deal with. I'll see you soon. Hmm? She nods again, and with a goodbye, he left and went slump in couch. Wayne is turned twenty-two years old with sweet and bubblish personality. Graduated while Jungkook was twenty-eight years old, and he's a mafia king. When meet with him through a mutual friend almost two years ago, they meet up again after a few months, and Jungkook asks her out in a date. It was totally unexpected because she has seen and heard about his emotional personality, and so far it's true. But he acts differently with her. If we say he is only warm up and show his emotions around wine, it will be true. And so far, so near they start dating, and they're in a relationship for a year now. One was talking with a best friend, and that's when she feels same nauseousness like two days earlier. But her friend said make her slightly anxious. It doesn't seem like we're forcing to me. 
I think so too. Last time I threw up was two days ago, but I was fine afterwards, and that's why I didn't even want to see a doctor. As I raise a bra. You're feeling same things as two days ago. Why not? What are symptoms again? Morning sickness and nauseousness as the nails arise, and one raise a bra on her suspicious look. What? Do you miss your this month or last month when over her mouth to speak, but it rings a bell as her eyes also widened? Yes, I did. She got up anxiously. Are you thinking the same? There I am. I like got up with big smile and hugged my entirely. Oh my god, I think you're pregnant when she squealed in happiness. And it take a few seconds for Anne to finally absorb these words after she heard them loudly. Am I really? She gulps a lump when Ida nods and a smile that clips her hand automatically went towards a flat stomach. I can't believe it. She jumps up in happiness, but she gets Why not? With a smile. Towards word streaming down from when eyes to see pregnancy kit in hand. She was feeling warm and giddy feeling. Now she is expecting a little one soon. Oh god, this is the happiest moment of my life. She wiped her eyes, getting up and went outside where Ada was waiting for her. What happened? All ten of them are positive. She jokes on her words as more tears roll down her eyes and Ada hugs her tightly. Oh god, I'm so happy for you when she rubs her back soothingly. So am I. One sniffs with a hiccup. I have to tell John Cook at the nods, smiling. Yep, you should talk with that cold hearty boyfriend of yours. I don't know how he's all the soft around you. She chuckles and a giggle also escapes one sips as she wipes her eyes. I go ready to give him surprise. Good, I'll also take my leave. Don't forget to give me any tales later, she winks and left. We look herself in the mirror after getting ready. She was still processing the happiest news of her life and even more excited she shared it with her boyfriend. She gave him a call near his office building in case he was not in office or no, perhaps he might be busy in meeting or cleaning up his business. Hey babe, she murmurs happily, a beautiful smile on her lips. Hey Amir, how are you? I'm good anyways. I was just wondering, where are you right now? Are you busy? He fronts. Why? What's wrong? Are you white? One rolls her eyes. Jungkook, just tell me where he asked you. And I'm completely fine. Are you sure? She sighs. Yes. Now are you free? Okay, and yes, I'm free. Do I have a meeting in a few minutes in at XX restaurant? I just reached reach there. Why not? So you're free before meeting. Yes, baby, what happened? Nothing. Bye, see you soon. Before he speak another word, she immediately cut the call and gave driver instructions about restaurant. With every passing second, Nguyen Har was beating more fastly. She don't know what Jungkook will react after knowing he's becoming a father. But a part of her heart tells he's a keeper. He must feel happiness to know about it. Reassuring her, she just did rest and went towards the restaurant. Excuse me, I need a little help, she said. They were passing by waitress. Yes, ma'am. She replied politely with a smile and went to return her a soft smile. I'm searching for Jungkook. John Jungkook. Can't tell me where his best brochure is? Oh, you're her, her guest. Sure, ma'am. Just give me a minute. She looks towards the iPad in her hand and tell her where he was. When packed up before going there, but her smile dropped as it slipped through her feet to see the scene in front. Jungkook was sitting on his knees in front of a girl with a ring in his hand and a smile on his lips. A pool of tears stuck in her throat as her breath slightly becomes uneven. No one, he's not for Jungkook, she muttered to herself. As warm tears started rolling down her eyes, she felt betrayed, not just betrayed, he was cheating on her. When she was pregnant with his child, although he didn't even knew about her pregnancy yet, but no one was not sure anymore if he deserved to know about it or not. Strings of tears start rolling down her eyes. She was having difficulty in breathing, and she can't stand the scene in front of her anymore. She took a deep, shaky breath and turns to leave. She was suddenly feeling suffocated with every passing second. As she tapped her heart in an attempt to feel a little less uneasiness, but nothing was helping. 
Next few hours, Shibas was in monotone. From packing her luggage to leaving his house and country, she did everything like a robot. If anybody else have done this, she might have felt less hurt, but it was none other than the person whom she trusted more than anyone else in the entire world. It was the same person who have gifted her heart and played, and he played well. He have crushed her heart under his feet as if she's a Procolin doll without any emotions. She don't know if she was overreacting or probably it was her pregnancy hormones or maybe her relation with the fact of her past. When had a heartbreaking experience with a teenager when she got cheated by her ex who was her first boyfriend and the heartbreak was too extreme for her and her teen hormones. She became skeptical and wary of relationships, but later maybe Jungkook, who slowly won her trust by affection and she slowly started warming up to him after she saw his efforts. She found him genuine and even when he told her about his job, later she decided she will never read anyone because what her ex still left a deep scar on her emotionally. And was rather happy than getting scared because he didn't hide his original identity with her, which later turns into complications and misunderstandings. And she was hoping that Google never broke her trust because he knew about her ex. But when she saw him proposing to another girl, she felt someone suddenly throw an ice water on her and she finally came into reality. The same person whom she was trusting more than anything else will cheat on her and will break her trust like this. She have never thinks about it even in her nightmare. But the sudden heartbreak her, hurt her badly, and she don't know what to decide, and she ended up planning to leave him. We landed in Europe and wiping her eyes, she had it outside. She was thinking nothing could get wrong now, but her wrist got struck in a drop to see the scene in front. There was standing Jungkook at a fair distance with his army of bodyguards like a king, his case predatory, while he was fuming in anger. She saw some unknown emotions in his eyes, which she quite wasn't able to figure out. As she immediately avoided her gaze, her eyes were puffy, nose and cheeks were still red, and before she started crying again, she immediately tried to escape from there. How did he go to know where she left, and how did he reach there before her? Apart from everything, why was he here now at full place? Didn't she left a congratulations card before she left? Or perhaps the reason of his sudden appearance was her eyes widened. Did he came back for her in a sudden soul in the tummy? Leaving her bag, she tried to run in opposite direction. Jungkook's eyes darkened. Guards follow her. But don't you, till a single scratch touch her body. He barks coldly as he also runs behind her. I don't know where she was running and what will happen, but the only thing she knew was she needed to be away from him and keep herself and the baby protected. Suddenly, her feet slips, making her lose her balance, but before she fell down or collapsed, a pair of strong muscle arms caught her, and the next thing she knew, she was hanging in air. When he really opened her eyes, her heart beating so fast in an organized pace. Time to go back home, darling, he drawled huskily having a different direct eye contact with her. Uh, she ran down her spine and she came back to earth. What are you doing? Jungkook, leave me. Jungkook, she tried to him. But her old efforts were futile in front of him. Calm down, my fist chicken. You're only going to hurt yourself. He wants a smirk, tugging his lips. What are you doing? Her eyes widened when she saw him placing her in the car. Where are you taking me? She jerked his collars, making him to come closer till they were inches apart. He stared her for a few minutes. Don't let me lose my control, Emma. I'm already holding back and to not do something which I'll regret forever. And for the action you did, we will talk about it after going back home. Her eyes almost came out of sockets. When he fastened the speed, she looks towards him, who clearly seems angry. The popping of his veins was clear indication of it. Her beats become unnever. Jungkook, what are you doing? Jungkook, please slow down the speed. But he only fastened the car. Her eyes 
Why then? For God's sake, Jungkook, he didn't listen. Please, Jungkook, please slow the car for the sake of our baby. She shouted as some tears started dripping from her eyes, and she saw that she was literally panicking. He looked towards her, his face slightly softened, and sooner he slowed the speed, and one let out a sigh of relief. And eventually, her breathing becomes normal as well. She saw he stopped the car in front of a giant mansion, but before she processed anything, he came towards her side and again scooped her in his arms. I can walk. She tried to get away, but he only held her more firmly. Take rest. We'll talk later. He stared her for a few seconds and then his gaze went towards her tummy. His face was cold and she was failed to read his expressions. He was always sweet and caring with her, but his distant and cold personality was something new for her. Her heart slightly twist. You kidnapped me, she shouted, grabbing him with his collars, tears rolling down her eyes. Why? Why you did that, Jungkook? At this point, she don't know for which thing she was crying and asking for answers. Him appearing out of nowhere like a ghost when she finally thought she left everything and then kidnapping her in the middle of the day or perhaps she was asking about the main reason she tried to run away. He pulled her closer, wrapping his arms around her. Take a nap, Amor. We will talk afterwards. Hmm? He grew her cheeks and this time she didn't protest, knowing her all efforts are futile in front of him. One was refusing to eat and she also sent back all the maids who came to tell her about lunch. She don't know when she slept yesterday but when she woke up it was already lunch time. Jungkook brushed in her room strongly hung as she looked towards him and he stared her back with those dark cops which was once soft fur. Her heart twisted as she averted her gaze. Are you refusing to eat? I don't have appetite. She didn't look up to meet his kiss. When did you lost it? She didn't reply. Yesterday. Breakfast? More than 24 hours? He hummed. I mean waffles with chocolate. But now you don't want them. Why unconsciously? Because it was her favorite breakfast. I told you I'm not hungry. She gritted her teeth. But as in cue, her stomach spills and his works. His stomach is saying otherwise. Maids place the food here. He ordered in a few meat center with a trolley of food with many different food items. She looks towards all food and then him in disbelief. I'm human, Jungkook. You have to eat for two persons now. He shrugs while she just stare him dumbfounded. Eat and we'll talk about yesterday afterwards. He retarded Kali and she gulps along but obeyed him silently. Half an hour passed when have eat a few things and now she was just waiting for him to break the elephant in room. Why did you run away? I told you in letter. He clenched his face in an attempt to suppress his anger as he looked towards her and one felt a shiver run down her spine. It was awfully intimidating her from yesterday than ever before her chuckles in mockery. Right, the letter. Do you really think I was sitting on you? One laughs. Tears rolled down from her corner of her eyes. Isn't that what I have witnessed yesterday? Now you tell me why are you here. He proposed someone had throat hurt while speaking this eyes glossy. I accept this fact. She tried to give him a biter smile but in vain. As she looked down, every fiber of her body was hurting at this point. Now tell me why are you here? He gripped her jaw as he forced her to look towards him. Because you are love of my life and mother of my child. Tell me, why wouldn't she steal like a madman when I spurned in his audacity as she pushed his hand away? My relationship with you ended when you proposed to another woman, Chanko. She seated angrily and he was mustering the same look as her. But the next thing she knew is his own hearts. It was so unexpected and sudden that it took her off guard and took her a few seconds to realize what is happening and act accordingly as she immediately tried to push him away but he only her more. They pulled away anyone catching her breath. She tumbled the bell face on his while sobbing. 
I hate you, Jungkook. I hate you to make me this small and bro. I hate you, she sobs as she pulls her closer by parting her back softly. I didn't cheat on your love. Never did. Never will. Don't you have trust me enough to know I will never do this? She pulled away. I know, and I have gave you my blind trust, and that's why probably knowing you, her voice breaks. If you cheat on me or having a fear behind my back, it hurts more than I can imagine. He quits. He said. I didn't cheat on you anymore. He said each word, anger radiating from his orbs as he touched his forehead with hers. She can feel the anger radiating from him. He sighs. I'll explain. Flashback. I don't want Skull Jungkook have one man to meet with his bestest bar friend, who was also a good friend. Oh God, it's so good to meet you. He just nods in response. Do you get the ring already? She sh- show me. He smiled on this word and take out a box of ring and showed her. Oh God, it's so pretty. She gushed in awe. Your girlfriend is so lucky to get a partner like you. Let's start our hustles. She nods as he went on his knee. I love you, I and Marmy. He smiles and Rory face palm herself. Oh God, you need a lot of improvement. She sighs and he just stared her dumb found it. Basically, Jungle was trying to propose to Gwen and Rory was helping him in rehearsals. Gwen saw the whole situation from far and misunderstood everything. Jungle turned back home only to find an empty house. He called Gwen but there was no response. Frowning, he checked the room and slowly each and every corner of the house. Her fear filled his lungs when she was not even picking his calls, but his steps halted when he found a letter and a pregnancy kit on counter. He picked it with a frown, but his curiosity confirmed when he read the letter. I know you must be curious about this pregnancy test, I'm pregnant Jacob. He was shocked at first, but his emotions turned happy and excited when he realized he was going to be a dad, as he further read the letter. I came to surprise you today in the restaurant, but what I saw there was taught me part. I can't unsee it, and for a blind eye, nor I would grow overcome his, this heartbreak, so I'm leaving. His ears buzzed, mind traced as he rushed the room and opened the closet on it to find her many clothes missing. And that was happiness turns into anger. He barked orders in the next hour to find her, and the rest is history. When put a hand in her mouth after she heard everything, she was feeling so dumb and she was so embarrassed at this point. She looked towards him while biting her lower lip and she knew he was not lying, since Sert was lying in his every word and features. As she sighs, but she was not going to apologize. If you have told me before you're planning to propose, this will never happen at first place. She accused and he raised a brow in amusement. Of course, Amor, it's my fault. His thick Italian accent and the way he calls her Amor always makes her feel warm and fuzzy. I was supposed to tell you about it. It was supposed to be a surprise for you, but it backbacks me, of course. He nods, but it's still my fault and apologized. Her heart warms as she slightly felt guilty. It's okay, I was not supposed to act rational in the impulsive as well, Jim Cook. I'm sorry too. She shakes his head as no. Knowing your past, what you did after you saw was completely acceptable. He creased her cheek, but it's supposed to be the first and last time. Promise me, if something disturbs you or you say something, you'll confront me, slap me on my face, whine instead of running away. He sighs, he let the hand placed on her stomach. I'm sorry, baby. As soon as the words left her lips, he again, this time more. I dare you to say it again, Amber. He creased over lip, a tint of fugue over her cheeks. You didn't let me relish the moment after knowing about your pregnancy. My slightly crawled, and he holds her friendly. Let's forget yesterday and never think afterwards. I was so happy and excited, as you must be too. She smiled slightly. Let's start from the moment I plan to surprise you, he nods as she holds his hand and places it in her tummy. I'm pregnant, Jungkook. She smiles. We're expecting a little one soon. He grins and he creases her flat stomach lightly. 
I'm so happy, love. He take out the box of ring and slip it in her finger. What? I didn't even say yes. Because I already know it's yes. And I dare you to say otherwise. She stirred the ring in her finger in awe and blush over her cheeks. It's really pretty, she murmurs, and he pulled her closer. It's looking pretty because you're wearing it. Her eyes meet and her cheeks turn crimson. I love you more than you can imagine, and I promise to be by your side till my last breath. She smiles, cupping his face. I love you too. I can't describe what I felt yesterday, she says. But anyways, I'm glad you came and kidnapped me and clear everything. She giggles. To be honest, now it sounds funny. He chuckles. One and turn off with his softly. Let's get married and create billions of happy memories together with a little one. She smiles, nodding. Thanks for watching, everyone.